Welcome back to The Takeout. Has the government shutdown left critical U.S. infrastructure vulnerable to cyber attacks? Now, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, it's got an acronym here in D.C. We call it CISA, furloughed the majority of its staff. Coinciding with that, interestingly, a law that allows and essentially encourages companies in the private sector to work together to fight cyber attacks expired this week for information and analysis on all of this. CBS News Homeland Security correspondent Nicole Skanga joins me now here at the family table. So, the furlough of the CISA employees, how big a deal is that? It's a big deal. Major, we talk about CISA a lot because they have a very important job, and that is to secure the nation's critical infrastructure. And what we mean by that is, think about our water supply, think about the power grid, everything to our election systems. And right now, 65 percent of staff are on furlough. Now, because what CISA does is so mission critical, that means roughly 900 people are still working to defend the nation's cybersecurity. However, that being said, this is a uh, an organization that is already understaffed and overworked. And beyond that, the concern here is that some of the functions this agency does, threat analysis, incident response coordination, communicating with our local state representatives on cybersecurity efforts, it's going to go by the wayside. The bottom line is the longer the shutdown lasts, the more at risk we are. And keep in mind, it's not like cyber threats have diminished recently. We continue to see ransomware attacks, and we continue to see cyber espionage by nation states like China. And I would imagine in this environment, Nicole, those who watch this space are fearful that during a shutdown, bad actors would find this to be a more encouraging time with which to try to do destructive things. We know that bad actors look for when we're not looking, which is why we see an uptick in ransomware attacks during the holiday season. That's why Colonial Pipeline happened during a holiday weekend, Major. So that is uh, a huge, in addition to what you mentioned about uh, this legislation that has gone without reauthorization by Congress. And what does that do very quickly? CISA 2015 basically allows um, private companies to share threat information with the U.S. government without fear of legal liability. So it encourages a see something, say something uh, attitude within the cyber realm. Now, that's important, Major, because 85 percent of our U.S. critical infrastructure is privately owned. So when we talk about private companies, we're not just talking about Walmart. We're talking about your local water municipality. Nicole Skanga, important stuff. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you.